Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey there, fans. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a special unstuffing. We haven't done one of these in a while. Classic unboxing on Stuffy Unstuffed. You can't be too careful. Uh, got my French knife out, which should probably give away uh, what dive watch I went with. But this package, I was looking through uh, its history, has been around the world. So I've got gloves on. I'm going right over a trash bag on the floor uh, to open it. It started out in France. It went to Germany, Basel, Switzerland. The mussels from Brussels, Belgium. It went from Switzerland to the USA. Went into Cincinnati, went through customs. And then it came uh, over to Detroit, through Romulus, then over to, uh, you know, delivered to me. So just taking a little extra precautions with the gloves and the exterior box, going right into the trash with all the packing material. Okay, I think I've got the main piece of resistance. So I'm actually going to switch camera angles now that I got this out. Uh, I did wipe down the box with wipes. I'll wipe down what I just touched there. And I'll come back with a better angle and show you guys the details. So stay tuned. Uh, then we're going to call the boys and get a reaction from RCW and Jay Goobles. And Jay Goobles surprised me. He's got something to unveil today. So it's going to be a great video, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Uh, like I said, I am so excited. I didn't even do any of the formalities, no sport coat. I jumped right in the shower when I got home from work. Uh, I'm still in a robe. I've switched gloves from my uh, unboxing gloves to my show handling gloves. I could be on the uh, home shopping network. So I've also brought another French artifact. So this is a French beret. My sister brought me back from Paris when she went last year. It's got a lovely French rooster or French cock on the brim. Of course, we unboxed with my lovely French knife with optional wine opener. And let's get to it. Oh, man. If you were watching last week, I'm sure you guessed I went with the Yama. I love already that it's in this lovely leather box so this can also be my uh, travel companion beautiful french colors there colors of the french flag on the zipper amazing look at that so i could actually travel with two watches it's got a so that's the additional strap i ordered and then it's uh yeah you could easily travel with two watches you can put one here one here that's beautiful Okay, let's get it out of the packaging. I'm so excited, fans. Oh man, I went with the Yemma Blue Heritage Superman. My God, is that beautiful. I went with the 41 millimeter, 20 millimeter lug width, Swiss Salida movement, even though it's assembled in French. France, it's got the locking dive bezel. Okay, let's uh, get into the lovely dome sapphire crystal. Let's get it uncovered here so we can see more of that beautiful dial. I love those indices. I've got to get a macro lens, guys, so I can get you some really awesome close ups, but I think we're doing pretty good. Can't wait to call the boys, see what Jay Google's surprise is, show them off my pick. They still don't know what I got. I'm sure they've guessed it. We've been chatting back and forth all week. It's actually got held up in customs. It was supposed to be here yesterday for Watch Scenario Wednesday, which would have been perfect. It would have been exactly 
one week apart from the other video. But we were delayed on filming that video, and today is now Thursday again, so it's actually perfect. It's exactly one week. Look at that. Just me moving it around. That Swiss workhorse Salita has already fired up. That's what I love about mechanical watches. Okay, I'm going to obviously wear it, love it, before I do a full review. I want to keep this very simple today, just get the guys' reactions. So I will uh, bring you guys back in after we uh, conference in the boys. So thank you uh, for watching, and I'll see you in a few minutes. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, fans, we did a quick unboxing. You've already seen it. Now I want to get the reaction from RCW and Jay Google. Actually, I want to go around and take your guess. What do you think I got? Um, All right. Go ahead. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking Yemma. I want to say Seiko or Zodiac. Zodiac was your first uh, pick for for kind of like the dive watches, and you kept going back to it. I want to say Zodiac, but my brain's telling me Yemma. My heart tells me uh, Zodiac. Okay. Well, I will say this. Uh, maybe you threw us a curveball, and we never mentioned it, and you bought a Christopher Ward. But yeah, we were supposed to mention Christopher Ward. Actually, John, you were supposed to throw that out there as your suggestion in the last video. Yeah, I totally forgot. But um, I, I'm, my guess is your heart seemed pretty set on the Yama. So I, if I had to put money on it, that would be my guess. Yeah, so I guess we're both saying Yama. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll pick Zodiac just for, you know, shits and gigs. And uh, by the way, John, we got to order better uh Watch handling yeah. gloves. <laughs> these uh, <laughs> Jay Googles, these are terrible. You got to double up on them. Double up on them, Paul. What, what were okay. they a buck for? What were they a buck for? Ten pairs? Ah, uh, they were super cheap. I don't know. I can't remember. There's no big sunglasses on either. The fan, the fans have already seen it. It is the Yemo. Oh, oh, it's the Yemo. I'd say I knew one it. mil. So this is. I think this is the quickest unboxing that we've done. Well, I already filmed an unboxing. I'm going to edit together with this for the fans. So I already did like a real unboxing with the knife and everything. So obviously I got to get it sized. Oh, what I didn't show in the unboxing, I showed the leather uh, carry case it comes with, but I didn't show the additional strap. So I'm going to put it onto this till our uh, watch doctor opens back up and I can get it professionally sized. So I got a factory uh, rubber dive strap. And I'm going to wow. throw on it in a little bit so I can actually wear it because, yeah, it needs to take, God, probably a good couple links out of it. That's okay, all now. Uh, that's all stuffy class right there. Yeah, hey. it's beautiful. I'm excited hey, to start wearing it. But, uh, we Paul, have can, a, we get a, can we get a close shot with uh, some more light on it? Uh, let me try to get closer to the light here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, man. That bra that bracelet is quite bright. That is really cool. Yeah, yeah it's got that, polished center links. Is is that bezel similar a little bit to the Speedmaster Omega Speedmaster? Uh, I believe the locking dive bezel is unique to Yemma. So you actually set your dive time and then lock it with the screw down crown, so you can't accidentally bump your dive time which is good because that your dive time literally tells you when you're going to run out of oxygen so right but, uh, the, i'm just saying the bezel itself the outside of the bezel looks a little bit like the seamaster yeah maybe and uh we, we have the, a fan uh, you have a fan that wants to get a seamaster too don't you yeah our uh cowboy friend uh is loving the seamaster we're going to dedicate next watch scenario wednesday just to him uh helping him pick out a watch but uh, let's throw it over to Jay Goobles. Jay Goobles uh, kind of uh, threw us a curveball today. I, I, he's got some big news. Jay, what do you got going on? Well, uh, fans, I expected to uh, be getting my watch in maybe next week. Well, I did purchase a watch, and they shipped it overnight. So I got it way faster than I thought. And uh, I didn't really want to steal Stuffy's Thunder, but – this is maybe a dual unboxing. So yeah, well, uh, you're a little bit of I'm gonna you're a little bit of a one upper right here. <laughs> I, I did I did not mean to. 
This was not no, my so- uh, this was not my uh, idea. But uh, yes, oh, I, I, I thought it would be cool. I thought it'd be cool for the fans to see a, a double reveal. Plus, we didn't even tell the fans you were ordering. You just randomly ordered after I did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was. I was. Uh, I got. I got the little uh, itchy trigger finger, and uh, I was like, "All right, I'm doing it. Screw it. I'm too bored." Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. All right. Let me see here. Uh, Flip the camera around. Uh, oh yeah. How do you do that? The symbol with the uh, double arrows and the camera symbol, upper left corner. There's as you're looking at it. Also, we did this with no oh, sunglasses. There we go. Here we go. I don't know how good of the light is. If you guys can see it, it's it's an Omega Seamaster. It's actually got a locking mechanism, so I need two hands. But hey, watch, watch, watch how cool this is. Watch how cool. Oh, it doesn't even slam shut. Anyway. Oh, my God. It's... Uh, here, let me get some more light on this. What do you guys think? Getting a little bit of a glare, but it's looking nice. Yeah, it, it is uh, definitely uh, – Way crazy, you know. I've I've looked at this watch multiple times in the the uh, AD, and they always had plastic on the dial. And taking the plastic off this dial, I can't believe how much the watch like pops. It's unbelievable. Um, like, if you guys want to take it over, I'll try to put it on. Yeah. It is obviously too big for my for my wrist right now. I also need to get it sized. But and Jay uh, Google's that uh, it. It really stands out, the bezel on it. Like stuffy, the bezel on the Yema is a little more classier as I look at the Omega, and I don't know if those are the correct words. The Omega is a little more sportier looking. Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, a Seamaster is an iconic dive watch. Uh, I mean, I really can't wait to see it in person alongside this one. We need to go out. Yeah, me too. Some, uh, we need to go out, do some wristwatch checks once uh, the world opens back up, get some oysters, some cigars, toast our watches, do some wristwatch checks. But uh, well, yeah. hopefully by then uh, the cowboy will have uh, his Speedmaster if we can convince him in the next video. Okay, go back to have John start talking so it switches yeah. over. Paul, it, it- – you know the different it, it's it is a different kind of uh bezel this is a ceramic bezel so it's going to be a lot shinier that's why it probably and it's it looks like to be a thicker bezel than the yama um but yeah as you can see it's uh i got some room i gotta knock that thing i gotta i did buy a cheaper rubber strap for it for the time being but i might try to figure out how to size it you know i figure a watch guy like me should be able to do it so I'm going to give it the old college try. Hey, Paul, did uh, yours fit pretty good? It looks like it fits pretty good where you don't have to do too much sizing to it. No, not at all. It uh, fits terrible. I can put – look at that. I got two oh, fingers okay, under the bracelet there. All right. I didn't yeah. I didn't see that. It just looked – with the way you I were handling have, it, it looked like it was fitting. I don't have any tools, but I'm going to try to put a pin in the drilled lugs and at least put my rubber strap on so I can go to the watch doctor. So, uh, okay. Uh, that's all we got for you fans. I'm going to turn off the recording. Peace out, YouTube. See you, fellas.